Dear uh, Pete McKinnon, I want to tell you why ugh, this bag that you made is perfect for people on the autism spectrum. Coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. Yeah, I know, right? And I make weekly videos all on this type of content. So if you're new around here, you'd like to learn more, or you just stumbled across this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below. And if you're watching over on Facebook, be sure to give this page a like and a follow to see more videos just like this one. Whew. Okay, I'm very excited because I, I just wanted to do this video for a very long time and I, I just I wanted to do this outreach. So this video is really interesting. It's about a bag. It's about a bag. And this, this is the bag and I'm going to talk a little bit about this bag. But first, if you haven't already, go check me out on my other social media accounts on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. I do content on all of those, including a blog on my website, theaspieworld.com and also a podcast, which the links for everything I'm talking about are in the description below. So please go and do that now because I would love to have a follow from you guys and maybe you could send me a DM and say, hey Dan, how's it going? Because I read and respond to every DM, which makes me also come to the next point that if you want to add a comment to this video on anything you want to know about anything, pop it in a comment down below. I read and respond to every single one, so that'd be super dope. Okay, let's get on with the video. So, there's a YouTuber called Peter McKinnon. Now, Peter McKinnon um, is really, really big. He's a really big YouTuber. I started following him when he first got uh, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, but since then, he's like surpassed like 3 million subscribers in a very short space of time. The guy's an absolute legend. Um, and the interesting thing is, I know about Peter McKinnon because people thought that I was him uh, when I was at a YouTube event. And um, because me and Peter have similar styles, we've got tattoos, we're like a bit like edgy, slightly hipster. We both wear caps backwards, and um, yeah, we, we've got like the bit of goatee thing. And my hair's long now, and Peter's hair was long, and he like grows it and cuts it and stuff. But anyway, the interesting thing was, I came across Peter's channel, and I was like, wow, this guy's cool. And then he's into the same music as me, which is really cool. He like he plays drums, and he's into like pop punk music. I'm into pop punk music and I play drums and I play bass and guitar and all the other instruments but one of his favorite bands Blink-182 and Angels and Airwaves and he did a documentary with Angels and Airwaves and he's good friends with Tom DeLonge the guitarist from Blink-182 and like it's just crazy how like I have so much in common with Peter but then I started following him and all his socials and then something awesome happened so Peter is a master of ingenuity and he likes to create things to make his life easier better more efficient and that sounds like music to my ears because for me being a person on the autism spectrum with organization issues I'm a person with ADHD and OCD so I want things to be a certain way, but then I also have a scatty mind. I'm just like, whoa, what's going on, you know? And that's how I think and, and everything else. So I, I came across a uh, Kickstarter campaign that Peter was doing all about a bag. Now, I will show the bag in, in just a few moments. Now, Peter put the Kickstarter out and he wanted people to pledge ugh, for this awesome bag. And as you can see, it's actually, um, it's got a signature on there. But he teamed up with the bag company Nomatic and Nomatic and Peter made this bag and, um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Now, I pledged to get this bag. I think it was something ridiculous, like three or $400 when I pledged for it, and that's Canadian dollars. If you want to get your hands on one of these bags, there is a link in the description below that you can click on. That will take you through to a bag that's more generally generally priced now because they've obviously launched this bag. It's no longer a Kickstarter, so the price is like just normalized. Okay, so this is the bag. Now, first of all, why are bags important to autistic people? Well, I feel like I am always carrying a bag around me because I've always got to have stuff with me like if I'm going out anywhere I already know because of my sensory issues and my picky eating which we all know it's not picky eating it's sensory issues I have to take food with me so that I can find the the you know I can go to the place and then ha have the food that I want without having to try and find the food at a restaurant or at a uh, theme park or wherever we go I know that I've always got my backup food with me in my bag not only that I need to take an iPad with me because it's my source of communication it helps me like plan my day it helps me do all of those things that I need to do in life because having a um, having an iPad with me is just absolutely uh, paramount now people on the autism spectrum like to stay organized they like to carry their things around with them they may have certain things that they want to carry around with them. It could be extra jackets. Like I always am prepared. I always have a jacket or a hoodie with me. I always have like batteries for my cameras. I always have spare battery charging things for my phone. I always have like, you know, phone cables and stuff like that and, and headphones because I actually have to carry around um, uh, sensory deprivating he headphones where like you can get, um, you know, these ones are noise canceling. Um, so it's almost like a sensory deprivator. Um, so these are uh, noise canceling Apple uh, AirPods. I also have Bose noise canceling headphones, which I take around with me as 
as well, especially when I'm traveling around because it's nice to block out that noise and that sensory noise if you're at an airport. Okay, so let's get into the bag. Okay, so let's get into the bag. Um, so the bag is um, really, really good. It's it's um, it's completely like, it's covered in this like faux leather, which makes it really robust and waterproof or water resistant. And the zippers have a very like um, interesting seal on the zippers where there's actually a, uh, like a seam where it closes and it's completely water resistant there, which is really, really good. There's all these little like hooks and stuff at the side so you can hook your keys on if you really want to. And then there's like pockets at the side you can go directly into the bag and there's all kinds of stuff in here like this little, uh, this is a little uh, like a rain cover I think for the bag which is pretty amazing. And then uh, I have my <laughs> Aspie World cards in here, you know, my business cards and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, and there's there's so much to this bag which I'm going to talk about. Okay, so it's primarily a camera backpack because obviously I'm, I'm a you know a traveler around the, the world doing stuff. It's it's primarily for that. There is a. Um, there's all, there's all these kind of like uh, supportive bits and pieces on the back that you can take off like this there's the, this buckle part here and then you can take that you can open this part and slide it out um, which but I think the security of that is really nice one thing I do like about this bag though is that it's designed perfectly so you can take it on a trip with you so you can actually stay overnight somewhere with this bag because in the front of the bag it's basically a um, it's basically a suitcase at the front of the bag and if I do this zip all the way around it like extends the bag out and if I open this, ah, it's like a little suitcase. So you can actually have clothes and stuff in here, and then you have like you know, socks and undies and stuff here, and then like you can keep your travel documents and whatever else you have, and everything's on my iPhone these days when I travel. But you know, all that kind of jazz in there, which is which is pretty cool. Which means that like you can stay like three to five days, depending on how you know minimal you are with your stuff. And then this pocket here is really dope. It's got like a little. Um, what have I got in here? Oh, I've got all the stuff that came with the bag. But there's uh, there's kind of like a, a thing you can hook your keys onto, which is absolutely paramount for me. And then um, this also is a place where you can keep your, your wallet and your passport, and it's RFID safe, which means that it's basically a, um, you know, people can't scan it with an RFID scanner to scan and steal your data. Now, I just want to point out, this video is not sponsored, not in any way, shape, or form. I just think that this bag is perfect for people on the spectrum because it has so many pockets and gizmos and stuff like that. Okay, so let's open the main compartment of the bag, which is I can't find. Let me have a look. Right then, it's, where's this? Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay, so as it's like an overnight stay bag as well, you can lock it because this thing is perfect for carry along on an airplane. So if you're just doing something for a few days in like, you know, a different country, you can just take everything in this one bag, which is amazing because when you open the bag up, there actually is a bunch of, um, it kind of like opens like a, uh, like a clamshell and then, oh, so you have a bunch of storage here for like cameras and stuff like that, which is this part portion and part of the actual uh, thing. And then this side, you have like uh, where you can put a laptop and an iPad sleeve. Um, and then you've got some more pockets here. You can put more cables and stuff in there. And then like, it's just, it's just absolutely just phenomenal because you can pretty much keep everything in here. And also you can take out these like insert divider parts because they're just like Velcroed on. You can just take these things out so you don't actually have to have like the main bulk of it, like a camera bag. You can actually put whatever you want in there. You know, if you just want to have clothes in it, this, if this is your like, I'm going to stay overnight somewhere for five to 10 nights, then I'm pretty sure this bag would do the whole thing. Um, it also has like a, uh, a magnetic strip at the side, which I'll show you now. So like, um, if you were carrying like a tripod or you want to put like a bottle of water in there, this like this awesome, just like magnetic, like strip that just opens up and then you've got this space here which is pretty amazing. Now one of the things and the features I like about this bag is you've got your typical carry like this and you've got your backpack carry like this but in airports and stuff it's nice to carry a luggage like this and it has handles each side for that. This is just amazing. So now we've gone through everything to do with the bag I uh, I will kind of like just put the bag down for a minute because I'm in awe of it still constantly. Oh, so that bag to me is perfect because I can take I, like let's put it this way when I'm traveling around or I'm visiting anywhere I have to take a backpack with me and then I have to take like, a suitcase with me and having too many things over complicates me and gets me overwhelmed and when I'm overwhelmed I start to stress I start to panic I start to kind of potentially melt down and it's all nasty things that are never gonna um, never gonna happen uh, you know in a, to, to, in, a, in a normal situation you don't want those things to happen it's always gonna be a bad overload so to 
Squash the overload, stop the meltdown, and get easy. You want one consolidated bag that can keep some of your tech gear in, the things that you want, your essentials, your everyday carries, and some clothes can you stay overnight. This bag absolutely takes the cake. I love it. Now, I'm obsessed with bags. You have to give this video a thumbs up if you have a collection of backpacks and bags as well. Because I know that people on the spectrum, when I talk about my bags, everyone's like, yeah, I don't know what it is. It must be an autism thing, because I have like, I have a backpack, a satchel, a messenger bag, a carry along, like, they have loads of bags, right? And luggage to me is, I don't know what it is. I just like to keep things in the stuff. I'm like, maybe that's a bit weird, right? But I don't care. That's what I do and I love it. So guys, if you want to check out that bag, I highly recommend checking it out. I just want to give a big thank you to Pete McKinnon for actually releasing and making this bag. Pete, you're amazing. And I'd love to do a video and interview Pete on the channel. Let me know in the comments, actually, if you'd like to see an interview with Pete on the channel of how he came up with this bag, because I'd love to talk to him about the ins and outs about it, because uh, why it's so important for people in the autism spectrum to have good, solid um, bags that are multi-purpose and multi-use um, and everything all in one consolidated bag. So, without further ado, guys, if you're new around here, so hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.